everyone, it's Amy from Polly Reader. This is my second video that I'm filming right now, which is why I haven't changed. It's very cold in Melbourne today. I've got my coffee in my booby cup. I love this cup. It's so cool. Sorry, it's a bit bright, but yeah, I love it. So today I just wanted to talk to you about my incredible experience last night. I met my most admired author, Helen Garner. Um, I've spoken about her before in another video. She is just such an amazing writer. She's an Australian favorite. She's been around for a long time and I've read almost all of her books. So last night we went, me and a few friends in my Lit Ladies group went to the Crime Writers Night, I guess it's called Talk Fest and they do a different one each year at Northcote High School. Um, last night's theme was violence. so. There was four writers. It was Sophie Laguna, Helen Garner, Andy Griffiths, and Jock. I can't remember his last name. I've not read any of his books, but I will pop it down below. Um, it was so good. It was so good seeing all of those writers discuss something that's very human and terrifying, but in all of us and yeah it was just a really interesting topic and I'm I was so stoked to see Helen Garner talk because I love her so much and far out she's such a kind kind person oh that's my dog sorry hey Dawny um uh, we bumped into her in the corridor afterwards and she actually sorry she actually stopped and signed our books for us and was so lovely to us. I've actually never had an experience with someone who I've kind of idolized or looked up to that was so perfect. She was just, her whole expression and her whole vibe was so lovely and warming and kind. And she actually thanked us for stopping her and said it was great for her to have met us because it made her feel so nice. And I just find that really admirable because a lot of people that you meet and look up to they kind of destroy the image you've created of them I suppose that's my fault because I'm always putting people on a pedestal but yeah she just blew me away and I got this book signed which is one of my favorites of hers that actually came out recently um it was raining really hard last night so I actually wrapped this in a plastic bag in my handbag because I didn't want it to get ruined and I'm so glad I took it with me in the end because she wrote in it for me so happy. So yeah, it was a great night, Helen Garner. Um, I also bought while I was there, Sophie Laguna, The Choke. This is her more recent novel came out last year or maybe early this year. Um, I've read The Eye of the Sheep, which is another excellent Sophie Laguna book. She writes from the perspective of children, but not in a childish young adult sounding way. It's so intelligent and so, uh, I guess you could say, intuitive and fluid and you really feel like you are in this child's head the way she writes but it's written from such an intelligent perspective it's it's really difficult to explain i wish i had the eye of the sheep here because i could read out some of my favorite lines but i really recommend you read any sophie laguna um, books if you can because she's excellent and there's no one like her really i've found well, maybe there is. Let me know down below if there is. I also bought The Spare Room by Helen Garner, which is one of the only Helen Garner books I haven't actually read yet. So I'm going to read this really soon and do a review on that. I've also mentioned um, to some people, I can't remember who I mentioned it to now, um, that I'm going to do a video on where to start with Helen Garner if you haven't read her before because I've noticed a few people haven't actually read Helen Garner and they're Australian and I really want everybody to read her because I just love her so much so that will be coming really shortly probably in the next few weeks um, I may as well show you the rest of the books I've hauled this month while I'm here The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry this is something that's been spoken about a lot on booktube so I probably won't review it but I'm really excited to read this and the cover's so beautiful too um, Human Acts by Han Kang. I found this at a secondhand bookshop recently and it's a bit grubby, but it's actually not grubby. It's just got one of those covers that sort of picks up grease. But yes, I'm really keen to read this. Um, I enjoyed The Vegetarian, so this should be good. And I got this in my book swap, The Natural Way of Things by Charlotte Wood. 
from my best friend Tilly. So I'm really keen to read this. This is one of the Stella Long Liz. Oh, it was the winner. I didn't even realize that. Must have been, yeah, 2016, the Stella Prize winner. Um, there's really mixed reviews about this out there. So I'm keen to see what I think of it because it's crime. It's written from the perspective of a woman. Apparently it's quite a feminist perspective. I think it's pretty brutal from what I've heard. So maybe that's why a lot of people haven't enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to read it and let you know what I think shortly. And that is all from me now. I just wanted to do a quick little catch up. I haven't been on booktube lately. I'm really sorry. I started an account, uploaded like one or two videos and then just disappeared. I've just had a really full on few weeks, like intense few weeks. I will um, be posting a bit more frequently soon. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.